In this lesson, you will learn how to graph and classify systems of equations. Systems of equations can be classified by the characteristics of the system. So let's look at an example. In the system, y equals negative 2x plus 4 and y equals negative 2x minus 1, we can graph this system of equations and then classify it. So we can recognize that both of these equations are in slope-intercept form. So looking at the first equation, y equals negative 2x plus 4, we can see that our slope, our coefficient of x, is negative 2, and our y-intercept is at positive 4. So we can plot our y-intercept at the point 0, 4, which will be on the y-axis, and use our slope of negative 2 to continue making this line. So we will go down 2 and to the right 1 and continue making points so we have an accurate graph of this equation. And then we can look at the second equation of the system, which is y equals negative 2x minus 1. And we can see that our coefficient of x, or our slope in this equation, is negative 2, and our y-intercept is negative 1. So we'll plot our point at 0, negative 1, and a slope of negative 2, so we'll go down 2 and to the right 1, and continue making points so we have an accurate line. So we should recognize, after graphing the system, that the graphs are parallel lines, which means that they do not intersect. When, our, when we have parallel lines, which means that they don't intersect, that we say that there is no solution, and we can classify that as being inconsistent. So this system is classified as having no solution and being inconsistent. Another thing to notice, when you have parallel lines, if you recall that parallel lines have the same slope, so they both have a slope of negative 2, and we can also recognize that our y-intercepts are different. So our y-intercept of the first equation was positive 4, and a y-intercept of negative 1 for the second equation. So parallel lines have the same slope and different y-intercepts. Let's look at another example. If we have the system y equals x plus 2 and y equals 4x minus 4. So these equations are also in slope-intercept form. So in graphing the first equation, we should be able to recognize that our slope, our coefficient of x, would be 1, and our y-intercept is at positive 2, or the point 0, 2. So our slope of 1, we will continue making points going up 1 and to the right 1. And then we'll draw our line. And then for the second equation, we have y equals 4x minus 4. So our slope is positive 4, and our y-intercept is at the point 0, negative 4. So we'll plot our point at the point 0, negative 4. And with the slope of 4, we will go up 4 and over 1. And continue until we make that line. So we can see that our lines intersect at the point 2, 4. So our solution is 2, 4. So this system has at least one solution so it is consistent. This system has exactly one solution, so it is independent. So this system is classified as being consistent and independent. Let's look at one more example. If we have the system y equals negative 3, 6, x plus 5, and the equation y equals 5 minus 1 half x. So in graphing the first equation, we have our slope of negative 3, 6, and our y-intercept at 0, 5. 
So for our slope of negative 3, 6, we will go down 3 into the right 6. And we'll go ahead and make our line. And for the other equation, we have a slope of negative 1 half and a y-intercept at positive 5. So we'll plot our point at 0, 5 and a slope of negative 1 half. So we'll go down 1 and to the right 1 and continue making points. And then we'll draw our line. So in this situation, the solution, we have infinite solutions. So we classify this system, since it has at least one solution, it is consistent. And since in this situation, the lines are actually the same line, so you can see that there's an overlay. So if we were to simplify the slope of negative 3, 6, that would be a slope of negative 1 half. So you can see that our lines are the same line. So we have infinite solutions, so it is classified as being dependent. So if it has one solution, it is consistent. And then if it has at least one solution, it's consistent. And if it has infinite solutions, it is dependent. So we classify same lines as being consistent and dependent. So let's summarize what we, what we learned today. So intersecting lines have one solution, and so we classify those as being consistent and independent. If we have same lines for our system, then that means that there are infinite number of solutions. So that is consistent and dependent. And if our lines are parallel lines, then we have no solution because those lines never intersect. And so we classify that as being inconsistent. <laughs>